Do you have a light fixture like this one that you would like to put on a dimmer switch? Well, your luck, because in this video I'm going to show you how to install a dimmer switch on a light. Hey folks, Kevin here with Kev's Castle and CastleRemodel.com. Here at the Kev's Castle channel, what I'm doing is trying to show you how to turn your home into a sanctuary. So if you want to get more videos like this, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also, click the subscribe button so that I can send you new videos when they come out. Now let's get started. The tools I'll be using for this job is electrical tape. This is optional, you don't necessarily need it, but I will go over that with you in a little bit. I have a screwdriver, um, both Phillips and flat. This is a multi-screwdriver where it has different tips that you can change out wire strippers and cutter. Here is an electric tester and the switch itself. <clears throat> this is made by Lutron and a couple things I'd like to discuss about the switch why I chose it is because down here it says single pull on the bottom right and the switch that I am changing out is it's in the dining room of my house and there's only one switch. So that's why I chose one that says single pull. This also has a three-way or multi-location option where I would be able to do more than one of these if I had more than one switch controlling the same light. This is a single pull switch, which means I am only changing the one. We want to make sure that there is no electricity going to the outlet that I am going to be working on. So here I will switch off the one that says dining room. So that seemed to work. The light is off. If I test it, it does not turn on. To be safe while working with electricity, it's good to check for any live wires in the box even after turning the breaker off. I'm straightening out any wires that might be bent because in order to connect it to the new switch, we want to make sure that they are straight for the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all three wires that are coming out of the box. I am connecting the similar colors this outlet comes with an option for three-way, as I said, and that's this blue wire here. I'm not going to need that blue wire. So what <clears throat> I'm going to do is it comes with a blue wire nut. I put the blue wire nut on there and that will keep it secure. And now we are going to connect the red wires together by twisting them in a clockwise direction. You want about three quarters of an inch of wire exposed and then after you twist the wire nut on in a clockwise direction it will hold it together. Do the same with the black wire and with the grounding wire.
The grounding wire is the green one that comes off of the switch. And then it's the copper wire that's in the wall. With this light switch, you do not need to have the grounding wire in the wall. It's not necessary, but if it is there, it's good to hook it up anyways. And after I do that, I told you earlier that the electrical tape is optional. I like to make sure that when I'm putting it all back together, none of these wires come loose over time. So I just wrap a small piece of electrical tape around the base of the wire nut just to hold the wires together so that when I put it all back in the box it stays put. There's always a chance that when you're putting it back they might jostle themselves loose a little bit so I like to lock them in. But if you don't have any electric tape that's not a problem. And then when you're putting it back, make sure it's oriented in the proper direction. When installing machine screws like the ones that come with this light switch, it's important for you to make sure that they are lined up correctly. That way you don't strip them out. The reason why is because it can become a larger problem if you accidentally strip them in the beginning and keep uh, installing them. So it's best for you to just be careful the first time and make sure they're lined up correctly. Now that the switch is fully installed, it's time to put the faceplate back on and then move on to the next step. You can turn it off by pushing down Turn it on by pushing up and you see this light lights up on the side. You can control it by dimming it up and down right here. And as you can see, installing a dimmer switch on a light like this chandelier is just that easy. It doesn't take long as long as you have the right tools and make sure you turn that power off beforehand. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button down below. And also, hit the subscribe so you can get notified when I put out more videos that help you turn your home into a sanctuary. Thanks for watching.